Hello everyone, my name is Swati and HR Administ is here to help you guys with all your HR related concerns. That's why I am here today with an important topic to help my HR members with the onboarding process so that they can define it in their organizations in much practical and effective way. So friends, welcome to the channel and please subscribe the channel so that you get regular updates about my every new upload. This video is going to help you understand what is onboarding and 5 practical steps to design your onboarding process. So let us begin with the meaning. The practical definition of employee onboarding varies from company to company. In short, we can say that the process of welcoming a new member in the organization and making him or her feel comfortable and adjusted in the new environment is known as onboarding process. Thus, it is very important for every organization to invest their time and effort in planning for effective onboarding as it can directly lead to other HR functions associated with the employees like employee retention, employee satisfaction, work culture, team bonding and many more such aspects. As you can see here, these are the five steps to define the onboarding process. The first and the common step for all candidates is to prepare the onboarding presentation. Nowadays, we have multiple options available on the internet to develop a creative presentation for our new joiners. The point here you need to understand is that this presentation is basically the summary of your company policies and rules that you need to introduce to the new members. So it is very important to make this presentation informative and impressive. The second step is to prepare for the induction plan. This is one of the important part of onboarding process because here only the new member will be able to get a clear picture and understanding of your organization. Induction is basically the orientation process only which is designed for a new employer to provide the necessary information to function comfortably and effectively in your organization. Recent studies have shown that companies and their HRs prefer to have this plan for maximum 1 or 2 days which earlier used to be for 90 to 100 days as it included the training part as well. Next important step is to plan your pre-boarding activities that is the period of time between an employee accepting their job offer and their first day in the organization. This is important in order to keep the selected candidates active and positive to join your organization. As we all know there are n number of opportunities available for the job seekers and many recruiters are also approaching them to join their company. In such situation it is very important to keep a hold on your selected candidate and basically this problem is normally in the case of long notice serving candidates. After all these plannings and schedules comes the ground level job that is to give the direction to the sub departments for getting things ready or in simple words we can say the administrative work. The new member would be requiring access to various company assets like a workstation allotment, laptop and necessary equipments and access and many such things for which you need to give directions to the administration department and make sure everything is taken care before time. Then final and last planning is the documentation work that is the list of documents to be collected from a new joinee. It can be either hard copy or soft copy depending upon your organization's pattern. Giving directions to the members of induction process about the implementation of each step as planned above. Ensure that administration activities are completed and preparing the set of joining documents. At the end, by concluding this video, I would like to highlight that onboarding of the new employee is the first impression that he or she will create for your organization. So please make sure whatever way you plan this process, it has to be complete with all the necessary steps. I hope these steps would help my HR friends to make their onboarding process impressive and informative for their new employees. Please share your valuable comments about the content of this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel to get connected with HR Advanced.